For our last example, I'd like to find the surface area obtained by rotating the graph of y equals the square root of 2x around the x-axis. So here our f of x is the square root of 2x. f prime of x, if you think of f of x as 2x quantity to the 1 half, then f prime of x is 1 half times 2x to the negative 1 half times the derivative of 2x. So those 2's cancel and you get 1 over the square root of 2x. Now f prime of x squared is just 1 over 2x. And if we add 1 to that, we get, um, if we put those over a common denominator, we get 2x plus 1 over 2x. And finally, the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared is the square root of 2x plus 1 over 2x. So now we're ready to invoke our surface area of revolution formula. So the surface area of revolution is the integral from the, on the bounds we're given are x equals 0 to x equals 1 of 2 pi times f of x, which is the square root of 2x, times this big square root formula, 2x plus 1 over 2x, all integrated with respect to dx. So this is actually pretty nice because the, the square root of 2x here cancels with the square root of 2x in the denominator there. And so now we ha just have the integral of the square root of 2x plus 1. And a natural thing to do there is to let u be 2x plus 1. Um, and then a du is just 2 dx. So I'm going to pull the 2 pi outside. We get 2 pi times the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 1. Uh, of the square root of u, and dx converts into du, except that dx is one half of du, so I'll put that half outside. So we get pi times the square root of, uh, sorry, from e the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 1 of the square root of u du. And so the point of that was that u, the square root of u is an easy integral. You think of that as u to the 1 half, and then the integral of u to the 1 half is u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves, which is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. And we're going to evaluate that from x equals 0 to x equals 1. But we can't evaluate that yet because we have the thing in terms of u and we need to convert back into x's. So we remember that u equals 2x plus 1, so we get 2 pi over 3. 2x plus 1 raised to the 3 halves evaluated from x equals 0 to x equals 1. And so this is 2 pi over 3. Now if you plug in x equals 1, to 2x plus 1, that turns into 2 times 1 plus 1, so 3 to the 3 halves, uh, minus x equals 0 in there into 2x plus 1, just gives you 1 to the 3 halves. And again, it simplifies down to 2 pi over 3. 3 to the 3 halves is the same as 3 square roots of 3, minus 1 to the 3 halves is just 1. and we get our final answer. So to recap there, we identified our f of x, that was y equals root 2x. We plugged that into the formula to square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared. Then we plugged our answer into the whole surface area formula right here. And luckily that simplified down a little bit and then to do the integral we just needed to substitute u equals 2x plus 1. So that finishes off that example and our lecture on surface area of revolution.